here, I reckon, will be uh, go mining because we are a little bit low on some things. There's plenty of wood. We've been stocking that up ready to uh, have another growth spurt for the giant tree. But we won't worry about that tree for now. We're going to go underground. Now that diamond pickaxe might be worth taking. There's only a little bit left on it. Uh, oh, there's some wood in there that shouldn't be in there. Not trying to be too organized, but um, it can come in useful. Now I'm going to bring something mining with me that uh, some of you might think is a bit odd, which is a, uh, a bucket of water. But there is a reason behind that. Oh, that's some steel. Let's put that in the uh, thing. I suppose I better check all of these just to make sure. If someone comes in, because they can actually access the furnaces, they can't access the locked chests and they can't destroy them because they've got stuff in. And you can't destroy a container if it's got stuff in. Uh, oh look, some leaves. We'll put them in there. See what I mean? I'm not trying to be too organised, but at the same time, I don't want everyone to be able to steal my stuff. Now what I have got here is 17 uh, cabins for helicopters. I suppose a good thing to do while we're mining would be to uh, get enough steel to make a few uh, rotor blades. That's the word I'm looking for, rotor blades. I'm not very good at... Um, public speaking at the moment. I'm sure I'll improve as uh, this series does, as it inevitably will. Um, but for now, let's see how far down the rabbit hole goes. Now, I can press a button here, F5, and that will show me my coordinates, amongst other bits of information. also tells you how much health an enemy that you're fighting has got which is useful information and there are all sorts of offshoots of this uh, this mine shaft, which goes down a fair old way. I don't know why, for example, I was digging in this direction. Oh, yes, I do. I was chasing after another player who was underground and I didn't know the whereabouts to his underground place so I um, decided to go sideways Now, in the old-fashioned version of mine test, before it was uh, so sophisticated as it is now, you never used to be able to drown. So you used to be able to make water lifts that would last uh, pretty much forever. And then uh, they added in this uh, breath feature, and they made life interesting if you had established maps that you wanted to use with um, <laughs> unlimited breathing and some coal 
And there's some obsidian I made earlier. Two lava flans. And they give us lava orbs and lava eggs sometimes. Which is, uh, there is a thing called a lava temple apparently. Which if you make a, a lava dagger, some kind of medical implement, it will show you the way to it. So that would be quite interesting. Let's see. We didn't get anything from fighting those two. Well, I didn't. It's the royal we. And we are not amused. So we're now at a depth of minus 512 and falling. Um, 600 there, we just passed. And I know from this point it's um, fairly safe, so I can just allow it to drop as the chunks load. And we might get some interesting things occur the lower down we go. Or we might not, it might be completely boring. We're now at minus 940. At 976 now, and we're about to pass a thousand nine hundred ninety. Ah, there we go, a thousand. I can't really remember how deep I went with this one. Uh, this is the deepest one. That's why we're on it. I thought it would be the most interesting one to go down. There are a few others, but they're tiny. In fact, there's one other significant one which is like a big giant underground quarry because I managed to get there and stop lava flows as they flowed in, giving me this great big underground basin. But we've gone very much past that at this stage. Right, well, here's a cave. Looks like I've been in here. Really not interested in uh, cobblestone at the moment. More, um, I've got lots of it. Uh, so more interested in your basic minerals. So coal, steel, obviously tin, copper, diamond, mees. Mees is a weird one. Its name apparently comes from an old uh, word they used to use for Microsoft chat or um, no, what was it, MSN Messenger uh, in the Celeron 55's country of origin which escapes me at the moment I uh, apologise for that if he's watching this um, and yeah, apparently the name stuck so there's this mysterious substance called Mies in this game which is very, very, very useful Nothing in there. Now, if we want to see sort of where we are in relation to other things underground, a little trick we can do if you make sure you're in a space that's two blocks high, and then you jump up and down, you can get a clipping error, which means that if anything bright is around the place, 
you will be able to see it. So look, there's the mine shaft. I'm dreading the day that they sort that problem out because I find it quite useful. But if they ever do, I hope that they realise that some method of underground navigation is handy and it gets added into the game. I'm not sure if someone's made a mod for that or not. That's the kind of thing that would come in quite useful mod developers. So what did we get? We got some copper. That's no good. We really want iron. some of this obsidian. It does wear the blade out on this uh, pickaxe here. You don't actually really need it for anything. Very useful stuff if you're building something you don't even want people to be able to get into. Because um, this is a steel pickaxe and it takes so long to mine with it. I mean, if you couple like this with a protection block, you've probably got the makings of an impenetrable house. Or you could clad your existing house with it, I suppose. Monster. Let's kill it. Um, one thing that I forgot to pick up on the way was a water source for this bucket. So, if we get one now. There we go. That way, if we encounter any lava, later on we'll be able to grab it I don't mean that soon Ooh, what's killing me oh dear huh well I've respawned exactly where I just died, which was unfortunate. But uh, fortunately, I'll be near. Oh, I see. It's these new shaders. They um, they don't show the lava on the actual ones it's on. They show it being all flowy, which looks very nice, but it's very deceptive. Game developers. Yes, Paddy. Agreed. Right, well, I can't find any of my stuff. Oh dear. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I think that might even be iron there as well. Ah, oh, well, that's just vaguely annoying. I'm going home. Right then.
such a waste of stuff. to reassemble all the stuff that I need now. Go on another trip. So yeah, it would be nice if um, anyone does want to come along and join in because uh, then we could go on two man mining trips so if one of us dies the other one can get the stuff and it's not a complete waste of time. Oh well, I think this is a good point to stop, so um, I shall see you in the future.